In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you as a security professional can leverage AI to make some great opportunities for yourself. Let's get started and let's get started now. Let's talk about the first opportunity when it comes to AI for security professionals. And that first opportunity really has to do with security testing AI applications or security assessments against AI applications. Now, all of you have been seeing the world has been building a ton of stuff on top of LLMs and AI. Either it could be a wrapper around open API or a wrapper around some other open source LLM, or it could be several things that they're using, or they might be embedding it in one part of their product or something like that. So one of the big opportunities that you have as a security professional is to be able to leverage your skills to assess and test these applications or even securely architect these applications. Now, granted, there are still not very perfect solutions for things like prompt injection and things like that, which are some big security issues in the AI world, but this is going to be an ongoing and upcoming opportunity that can have pretty large consequences, especially as companies and startups look to build out a lot of content or a lot of applications on AI. So this is something that I think a lot of security professionals can take advantage of with a better understanding of AI. In fact, one of the things you should do, of course, besides learning AI and some of the foundational aspects, you should start looking at the new project from OWASP, which is called the OWASP Top 10 for Large Language Models or LLMs. This is a good starting point for you to understand what are the different risks to applications that are built on top of LLMs or built on top of AI and what kind of issues are there and what kind of defenses could potentially be there for these sort of applications. So this is an opportunity that you should probably take pretty seriously. The next big opportunity that I think that security professionals, especially security engineering minded security professionals should start to potentially take is building out AI solutions and AI solutions for security. Now, this is obviously a much longer shot and a much more complicated path for you to take. But I think there's a lot of rewards and dividends that you can receive if you start to shape your capabilities to either engineer products around AI or engineering internal workflows around AI. So even to start with, take existing knowledge bases and vulnerability assessment reports and things like that, pass it through AI and maybe get some predictive analysis. Even if not predictive analysis, maybe start to see some trends or start to be able to capture some proprietary information that you can use as a GPT or something like that internally. I I think internally the use of AI in security is only going to increase and all of this has to be engineered. You need to have skills to know things like Langchain and being able to use vector databases in order to store this information or the bindings and all of that stuff. So once you have these capabilities, you should be able to customize AI based responses or AI based solutions for a lot of different things that can be used for security use cases or so things like optimizing security incidents. Maybe you can use AI to be able to identify security incidents and anomalies based on logs that you've been able to ingest or based on incident reports that you've been able to ingest or similar things with other vulnerability management use cases or even being able to come up with a secure code, insecure code solutions for application security workflows. So all of these things may be potential things that you can engineer. This is of course a much longer shot, but I think this is much more worthwhile in a long term because companies are going to want to build out AI solutions and security is definitely a domain where AI solutions are going to be built. So it could be you that is helping them and gaining a much larger traction for your solution development capabilities on top of AI, especially for the niche of security and security engineering. So these are the two use cases that I think can play a pretty big role and a pretty big set of opportunities for security professionals all over the world. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please click on like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. And I'm going to see you in the next video.